News 8 at 5 starts now. We begin at 5 o'clock with IT Mate and the stunning new revelations in the Delphi murders. IT Mate broke the news about an FBI search warrant and new details about the crime scene and what the killer may have taken from the property. Tonight, we're piecing together new information about the man targeted in that search warrant, Ronald Logan. I want to bring in IT Mate's Demi Johnson now, who has been following this story since day one. Demi, this search warrant shows police. Early on, they had suspicions about Ronald Logan. Yeah, Phil and Alexis, this FBI search warrant is only nine pages long, but it provides surprising new detail on the crime scene in Carroll County and why investigators began to question the possible role of Ronald Logan, who owned the land where the girls were found. You can see Ronald Logan here on his property in this video shot by Wish TV in 2017, just days after the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. By that time, the FBI says Logan had already lied to investigators about what he was doing on the day the girls disappeared. Monday afternoon, I was in Lafayette Aquarium where we're getting a tropical fish from my aquarium. So when I came home, uh, one of the neighbors stopped and asked permission to come back here and look for the missing girls, and that's the first time I knew anything about it. So I fooled with my tropical fish the whole time that the search was going on Monday night, but then they didn't find them until Tuesday around noon or one or whatever it was. Investigators believe Logan asked his cousin to lie about driving him to an aquarium store in Lafayette on the afternoon of February 13th. Police arrested Logan for violating his probation on charges of DUI and driving on a suspended license. He appeared in court March 13th on the charge. The next day, March 14th, a state police spokesperson tweeted, reports connecting Ronald Logan to the Delphi murders is false. Probation violation, no connection to murder investigation. But a search warrant filed by an FBI agent three days later, March 17th, says, I believe there is probable cause to believe that Ronald Logan has committed the crime of murder and evidence of that can be found on Ronald Logan's property. And that based on investigators' experience, it is reasonable to believe that the creation of an alibi prior to the discovery of a crime indicates culpability or knowledge of the crime. Logan pleaded guilty to a new charge of being a habitual traffic violator on April 3, 2017. He was sentenced to two years in prison, a sentence that would eventually be reduced to home detention. The search warrant application reveals never-before-discussed details about the crime scene and how the girls were found. The agent says a large amount of blood was lost by the victims at the crime scene. The agent also says authorities found that two articles of clothing from one of the girls was missing from the crime scene, while the rest of their clothing was recovered. It also appeared the girls' bodies were moved and staged. Ronald Logan has never been publicly named a suspect in Abby and Libby's murders. He, he's also not been charged in the case. Logan died in 2020. He was charged with a probation violation for driving with a suspended license. Now, I sent several detailed questions to Indiana State Police and was told they cannot comment on this case. Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, Demi, thank you very much. Well, if you missed any part of TV.com, just grab your phone, scan that QR code. That will take you to our website where you can find this story under the As Seen on Wish TV section.